Hello, everyone. Myself, Anushri Mittal from the NASCOM Future Skills team. Welcome to today's session on RPA Basics and Beyond. The RPA is a simple and a powerful automation software enabling you to create your own software robots to automate any business process. RPA bots have the same digital skill set as people. They are a digital workforce that can interact with any system or application the same way you do. Everything from copy paste to correcting data to making calculations. The benefits of RPA are immediately quantifiable and impact multiple areas, such as error reduction, increased compliance, and audit saving. Technologies like RPA have revolutionized the business even during the pandemic and have helped many organizations take off despite the roadblocks. So if you are an RPA geek and you love to fantasize about how RPA works and wish to make a career out of RPA, you are at the right place. I would now like to introduce today's presenter. We have with us Mr. Arjun Mehra from Automation Anywhere. He is an automation subject matter expert and has 14 years of experience in the IT industry. He has led implementation of digital transformation projects with prime focus on automation for multiple customers. His passion towards the ecosystem development makes him a true evangelist. Two things that I would like to bring to everyone's notice is, a recorded version of this webinar will be emailed to all the attendees after the webinar gets over. Secondly, we would love to hear from you. Therefore, if you have any questions during the course of the webinar, you can share the same with us in the question box and those will be answered at the end of the session. Over to you, Arjun. Arjun, you're on mute. Okay, uh, can you please confirm if you can hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, uh, let me also share my screen and I'd like to know if people can see my screen now. Yes, it's visible. Okay, thanks a lot, Anu. Welcome everyone to this webinar on robotic process automation, basics and beyond. Myself, Arjun S. Meda, a senior developer evangelist with Automation Anywhere. As Anu already introduced, uh, you know a little background about me and uh, I'm going to take this session for you. I'll basically help you understand what robotic process automation is. In short, we call it as RPA. We'll understand the basics why did we even start with this what is the need for rpa why should we learn this technology and how is it going to impact individuals on their career path as well as how it is going to impact organizations in terms of their digital transformation so let me take you through the slides first i would like to just talk about briefly about automation anywhere we are a pioneer in the digital workforce over the last 16 years, we have built this platform in such a way that any organization can use this in their digital transformation journey. And you can see that with the number of customers we work with, we work with over 4,000 plus enterprise customers, and we have deployed more than 2.4 million digital workers. What that means is like 2.4 million bots are built and been deployed in the production environment and we have a vibrant developer ecosystem so that's where you can see that we work with more than 1 million plus user community so that's a very active community in which you can ask questions post your questions learn a lot of uh, ways in which you can automate your processes and also uh, you can look at what different analysts talk about on the right side, I'm not going to uh, talk about each of these uh, quotes, but then you can see uh, for yourself on how you can 
understand that RPA is doing pretty good and also we as automation anywhere have been in the space for a while and we know what we are talking about and next first let me introduce you to robotic process automation a couple of you might already know what RPA is but for those of you for whom it is not clear what RPA is let me explain you in terms of the definition and then we will look at the use cases a couple of folks are saying like uh, you're not able to hear me clearly can others confirm if my voice is okay okay you are great uh, okay great thank you for the confirmation just in case if you have challenges hearing me or if the video is not uh, if the audio and video are not in sync you might want to uh, sign off and uh, log log back in that solves the problems most of the time okay thank you for the confirmation so in our day to day life we work with computers in computers we we use different kind of applications let's take for example excel spreadsheets powerpoints files folders pdf documents appointments we do a lot of work in computers using these different file systems but what happens is a lot of this work is monotonous and boring for a human to execute it takes away a lot of their creative time while they are left with very limited amount of time to work on very higher value tasks that's where we want to use software robots in short we call it as bots so rpa is using software bots to automate the manual repetitive and mundane tasks and processes so humans can be more productive so that's where we offload these kind of repetitive tasks to bots so that we can spend time on creative thinking on customer centric roles where we really need our intelligence so that we can interact with people which will save us a lot of time so now even before we get into understanding in detail about what rpa is let's see why we are doing what we are doing and why is it even required as you can see in the slide 52% of fortune 500 companies have disappeared since 2000 so why is that happening a lot of them got acquired a lot of them were replaced by companies which are digital native who have the ability to have efficient processes and they're able to provide better services so now let's see what the digital companies do as you can see these are a couple of examples of digital native companies disrupting industry after industry as you can see these are like cutting across different industries and they started from a blank slate that means they have the ability to build and execute on the technologies which are made for today that's the advantage they have they have they're very agile their business processes are made in such a way that it's very easy for them to change whatever they want to implement they can go to market pretty quickly so that's where the advantage is and they don't stop at there they look at automation as their front runner what that means is like by using automation they're able to move much faster than the traditional companies which help them a digitally native companies so now we already have a lot of organizations which are not digitally native because they have been there from a long time they have built their legacy systems they have different number of applications which don't work together that's where they pose a challenge which we are trying to address with robotic process automation and by the way a lot of these uh, digital native companies are also our customers now we have different kind of tasks first one being let's take an example of a front office task where a agent answers calls from the customers in the front office 
So that means there are some steps which he would have to perform when he is answering the calls so that he can answer the customer. So this is where we can implement automation with human in a loop that is also known as attended automation. What that means is if you consider a process which has 10 steps in which the first six steps can be automated. The first the seventh step is manual. Maybe it's it requires a approval or something like that. And then the steps 8 to 10 are again automated. So this is where a bot can help you automate all the tasks which does not need human intervention. So that's where the front office comes into picture. Whereas back office is all about executing the end to end processes in a remote machine. They don't need any kind of human intervention while executing a particular transaction. So if you want to generate a report, if you want to process uh, a million records in the back end without the need of a human to look at what the bot is doing, that's where the back office comes into picture, which is also known as unattended automation. So in the front office, some of the examples are like Salesforce and Microsoft Dynamics 365. This is where you, these are the applications which with which the agent will interact while he is answering the calls with the customer. While the back office systems are like Oracle, Workday, SAP, these are the system of records. They hold the information which you just need to process and ensure different systems are in sync. And also, we have many more personal productivity tools such as Office 365 and G Suite. But where is the challenge? All these applications work in silo. They are not directly built to interact with each other. That is where there is a gap which the human is trying to fill in. But if you have to do that all by all manually, that's where it takes a lot of time. So that's where a platform like Automation Anywhere can connect the front office, back office, and every office in between so that you can focus on higher customer centric roles. So let's try to understand what can be automated with RPA. We'll just start with the basics first. Let's take an example of a loan application processing. So different customers fill out the forms online or even through agents which come to the back office agent as an email attachment. So it can be in a PDF, it can be in a spreadsheet, and then the agent has to process these emails and then pull out the data from those attachments and then feed it to the systems. So this is where the bot can do this easily. The bot can read your emails, it can download the attachments, it can extract the unstructured data, the data which is not even in the tabular format, it can even be in free form text, which can which can be extracted using a bot and then it can process like based on a for example a Sybil score whether we want to provide that loan to a particular customer or not based on that decision it can move the files and folders into predefined locations and then the data which it has picked up from the PDF it can be filled into the forms. It can be web applications. Those are like internal applications where you want to fill out information about what the customer has sent in along with whether you are approving his loan or not. All these details can be easily done by a bot. Now let's look at one more example. Say in this case, we want to look at sentiment analysis. We want to understand what the customers feel about a particular product or a service in this case we can either like look at options to extract the feedback from different e-commerce portals or even social media portals where we can monitor what people are talking about a particular company and then this data can be fed into third-party apis to understand what the text means understand the intent of what the customer is trying to say and accordingly based on the sentiment score whether it's positive or negative you can again post back to different social media networks as well 
moving on our favorite application excel any kind of work which you do with excel can be performed very easily and then even if you work with some terminal applications even those can be automated as you can see all this the developers can already do it by themselves so what are we providing as a rpa platform the goal is to make it low code platform where you can use the drag and drop functionalities to pretty much configure this workflows and build bots in a very quick format and also easy to use and maintainable format but rpa is not just about this if you are a power programmer you know how to code and you are familiar with any of the programming languages like java python dotnet vb script and javascript you can always integrate these coding languages code scripts and you can do like you can call these scripts within the platform itself so that's when it's giving you a power whether you are just a business user who knows how to use platforms like sap salesforce or oracle or you are a power programmer who are who is very efficient in programming languages you can still use this platform to the maximum potential so if it's so good let's try to understand what does this bring us what are the benefits of rpa it can help in improving the productivity and employee morale the reason being the boring and monotonous tasks are given away to the bots so humans are focusing on critical thinking where their thinking ability is used it can help you provide exceptional customer experiences as discussed in the previous scenario where the bot is executing while the agent is answering a call from the customer because the bots are doing the work in the background it is able to quickly navigate across applications and help the agent with the necessary information to answer the customer quite quickly so that's where it's going to help the customers get a better experience it can also help in improving the back and the front office collaboration so any kind of like if you want to open a bank account or you want to close a bank account it does not take weeks it can quickly do a within a couple of minutes or even within a couple of hours so that's where it improves the overall end to end workflow optimize processes and scale on demand the platform we have you can scale on demand what that what does that mean it's a cloud based platform so it's very easy to scale and it can help you optimize your processes and identify different opportunities you have for automation as well we'll talk about a lot more about the different components which are the different products you can use and for what purpose in the later slides it can help you drive the company revenue it can, because the bots are able to perform tasks at a much faster rate and these can work 24 bar 7 even 365 days a year that's when you have an opportunity to even upscale upsell or cross sell even get new products to be sold with the existing workforce overall it is helping your organization enabling in the digital transformation and this technology is non invasive what does that mean it need not be integrated with any of the applications or the platforms which you already use it just works the way the human works with a computer so that's why it's much faster to start creating your bots and deploying them to production that makes it an interesting case to work across industries across business verticals as you can see we have customers in almost every industry you name it we have it and so as professionals we also want to understand which are the companies who might be interested to hire anyone who has knowledge on how they can build bots using automation anywhere platform here you can see the customers across different business verticals you take it as like 
banking and finance sector, you have a pro popular examples like Chase, Citibank, MasterCard, Visa. They are all our customers. They use RPA in their day-to-day -day operations. Similarly, in engineering, you can look at Honeywell, Bosch, Caterpillar. In the pharma industry, you can look at GSK, Novartis, AstraZeneca, for example. Similarly, you can do, look at different industries here. So this gives you a confidence that, yes, RPA is a technology which is widely adopted across the globe and across the industries. So that's how there is a great opportunity for professionals to get good jobs once they have knowledge on RPA using automation anyway. So now we looked at different industries. What are the use cases? I mean, what are the uses of what are the benefits of using RPA? If it's so good, let's take a quick few examples of what it is used for. As I mentioned earlier, it's used across different industries and even across different business units in a specific organization as well. First, let's look at finance and accounting department. Here, some of these processes which can be automated are like general ledger closure, tax compliance, code to cash, procure to play, bank statement consolidation, all these use cases can be automated. Moving on, if you look at HR, a lot of steps in the onboarding process, the recruitment process can be automated so that HRs need not do every task all by themselves in a manual fashion. This helps you in speeding up the onboarding process, talent management, payroll setup, all this can be done by bots. Service desk. Here again, as I mentioned, this is a classic example for a attended automation. You can look at how you can open accounts, close the accounts, agent management, customer sur surveys. You want to add or delete users to a specific platform. You can all do this using bots. It can even help you in sales. It can help you in lead management, pipeline reporting, code creations, price book management, appointment scheduling, and a lot more use cases. When it comes to IT, you can use it for hosting management, incident management, application management, and a lot more use cases which you can look at. So let me introduce you to the platform which we are talking about. That's the most comprehensive digital workforce platform in the industry. There are four main components and a lot more, but I'll just briefly touch upon the discovery bot. So this is where it will help you identify how the processes are being automated manually so that the managers can look at how these processes can be automated and these steps the discovery bot can also build the bot by itself with a single click that's the advantage and the power of discovery bot when it comes to capturing information the product is known as iq bot this is a doc intelligent document processing system where it can read through any kind of documents we'll get into the details again in the next couple of slides but i'll just briefly help you understand what this platforms mean and the third is the enterprise rpa platform which we call it as enterprise a2019 that's a web-based cloud native rpa service rpa as a service platform and also we have a platform called bot insight which can help you bring out the analytics at a bot level at a process level and at even at a business level so combining together this is how it forms a totally integrated digital workforce platform due to which you have already seen large customers using this platform it's not only that if you are a user of like Salesforce, Gmail, Outlook, Office 365, that's where RE comes in. That's called Automation Anywhere Robotic Interface. You don't have to step out of the platform which you are comfortable with. Something like a say, example is like a classic example is Salesforce. You can kick off these bots right from the Salesforce platform. And if you want to understand more about how these different bots are available, what are the different use cases, you can always head to Bot Store. That's the most comprehensive marketplace we have for pre-built intelligent automation solutions. 
and in terms of the deployment we have different models it can be uh, hosted as a pure cloud and it's a cloud enabled or even we have a hybrid platforms which you can uh, even deploy it on your own premises with the cloud updates too so if it's so good a lot of you some of you at least might have a question is coding mandatory no coding is still an optional for you if you are a power user as i mentioned earlier you can use the power of coding if not you can still get going with the platform let me introduce you to automation anywhere's intelligent digital workforce platform that's called enterprise a2019 so you just have to log into your browser and start accessing this platform this is how the login page looks like i'm also going to show you some demos on how uh, it looks like first i'll take you through some of these slides and later we can look at the uh, some more use cases and the bot demos so all you have to do is like get onto your url in your uh, favorite browser and log in on the left side you can see these different actions so as you can see these are all like drag and drop functionalities which you can drag and drop it to the workbench this section is called the workbench where you build the bots so you can get started in just a few clicks and for example if you want to launch a browser all you have to do is on the left side in the actions panel you can see different actions listed in the alphabetical order and under browser you can see that there's an action called launch website which you can just double click or drag and drop it here and then you can configure this action to open up whichever website you want so let's look at a quick demo on how this a2019 works So this is just a quick demo about uh, how this platform looks like and what you can do with this. As I've explained you earlier, it makes uh, it very easy to get started for you. You can even build a bot within just a few minutes by uh, with these three steps. So this is just a platform which you are logging in in your browser. Say for example, you want to log in using a Chrome browser and then on the left side you have all the actions which you can uh, select and then drag and drop to your workbench and then you can continue to add different steps onto the same workflow you first define what use case you want to automate each step and then you're going to uh, copy paste i mean just drag and drop all these different actions and then once it is ready all you have to do is like click on the run button and the bot gets deployed from the browser to your local system and it starts executing from your local system so that's where the power of execution kicks in directly from the system by taking the bot built on a browser so this is a very simple example of how it looks like to build a bot using automation anywhere's enterprise a2019 platform and next i briefly introduce you to the iq bot which is democratizing the intelligent document processing so let's understand from the bottom phase like there are different business processes say for example you work with invoices financial statements insurance claims or the order status these are available in different documents and then you want to extract the information from these documents and then make sense out of what the content is available in these documents that's where iqbot comes into place it has native ai technologies built in such as computer vision it can read through the data it has nlp that is natural language processing with which it can understand what the content means it also has fuzzy logic that can validate and enrich your data because in real life there are a lot of times uh, if the data is not correctly updated in the documents you might face some challenges so that's where you can use fuzzy logic to enrich the data to bring it to a standard format and then because this is there is a machine learning model behind the scenes which is continuously running 
whenever there are some mistakes you can manually correct them and the algorithm remembers the corrections which you have made so that next time a similar situation occurs that's when the model knows that this is the exact step which it has to take so that it can process that particular transaction and the best part is it's not only about using the native ai technologies you can also integrate the platform with third party ai technologies such as aws azure or google cloud platforms different cognitive services are available you can always integrate it with them and a lot of solutions are again available for you in bot store couple of examples are like language translation sentiment anal analysis and even chatbots you can always integrate with them so that you are able to build that end to end automation solutions so now uh, let's take an example of a insurance claim so whenever there is an accident which is occurring an insurance claim comes in but even before the company pays that claim the company wants to ensure that there is no fraud involved in that particular claim so let's see uh, how the ml and ai models can be used to perform this claim fraud detection so this is how the use case looks like first it has to extract the first notice of loss from the email and then these claims are digitized using the iq bot then the data will be passed to a predictive ai model there are a couple of examples like uh, it, uh, there is a model in azure there is a model in data robo uh, data robot which gives you a score of what the fraud percentage might be based on the data submitted by the customer so that's where you can based on the score you can define the workflow if you want to escalate it to a special investigation unit or you just want a claims to a team to review or if it all looks good you can even let the bot approve the claim and process the payment too now let's see uh, how this looks like so first we talk about the iq bot so that's our integrated into the rpa platform first we are going to upload the documents and the iq bot will extract the data from these claim forms this can be uh, in any kind of uh, tabular formats it can be pdfs it can be scanned documents the data is all extracted and then we can feed it to a csv file a spreadsheet or any kind of uh, format which you would prefer so now the bot is extracting the data and then this is when it has loaded it to the csv file and now as a next step we want to look at that ai model where we want to pass the data to the external models to understand what is the predictive score for that percentage of fraud again as i mentioned earlier you can integrate it with computer vision nlp or even predictive modeling services which are all available from different companies this is where the power of integration comes in again it's made very easy to understand how you can execute these use cases and then as you can see here using computer vision technology it's able to give you a definite figure about what is it that it will cost to repair and then the data robo model is also giving you a fraud probability in this case it's a 5% so that means like it's a negligible score and then the bot based on the rules defined decided that it is okay to approve this particular claim so that's how you can integrate the power of the core platform along with third party ai models to build in end to end automations next uh, moving on to the next product it's called re as i mentioned earlier it's automation anywhere robotic interface which can help you automate different tasks from simple to complex this you can use it from different platforms like if you have a desktop you have an interactive form with which you can work with there is also a mobile app with which you can start or even stop your bots the re is also available on different apps such as outlook it's also available with uh, g suite and it's also available in excel and it's also available in terms of the web so that's where you can build it on the any web platform also and then integrate it with your 
end to end solution and voice is also coming soon which uh, we will post once it's already available now moving on this is one example on the salesforce connector so this is where if you are a power user on a salesforce platform and then within the salesforce platform you can connect the automation anywhere rpa bots for salesforce again this uh, connector is available on the salesforce app exchange and the url is as shown here you can configure it configure it so that you can connect both salesforce platform and the automation anywhere platform and then you can decide if you want to trigger the bots manually for a definite case or an account or even in a process builder you can connect these bots so that whenever there is a change in the content or change in the status it can trigger the bots automatically and here we are not talking about just using the automation anywhere platform this is where we have we are well connected in the technology partner ecosystem you can see we are partnered up with different process mining companies cloud platforms service orchestration conversational ais data science and different enterprise softwares so it makes it easy for you to build automation with all these platforms so that's where the power of this partnership and the ecosystem comes in so now we have all spoken about the good things now let's see how can you get started with us we have defined it in four stages the first one is to learn we have a dedicated automation anywhere university portal where you can log in and then learn how to build bots there are different learning trails available for different profiles whether you are a developer business analyst a solution architect be a program manager or even a support specialist there are different courses for you which you can take up there are different levels of certification like there are two levels advanced and the master level certification which are like credible across the globe and then there is a documentation portal docs.automationanywhere.com i'll share you a single point of contact where you can look at all these resources and then we have a free community edition for you so you can just sign up on the community platform and then you can start building the bots we also provide you an sdk if you want to extend the power of the platform that's when using java you can build the action packages already there are a number of packages available but if you want to extend the platform capabilities for a specific use case you can build that action packages all by yourself and then you can import them to the platform and third stage is all about engaging how can you keep connected with us that's where we have a vibrant a people community so you can ask questions post your questions you can get answers from there it's not only the automation anywhere experts who are answering the questions but we have built a vibrant community of experts who work at various organizations automating different use cases using our platform they will also answer your questions we host a lot of conferences meetups hackathons so you can participate in any of them and we do have an advocacy program called a listers that's like the top class professionals who have achieved the mastery in using automation anywhere platform and also the ones who share uh, their expertise with a lot of other professionals too and there is also a good opportunity to earn right like you can monetize your skills we have seen how rpa technologies is widely used across different industries and different companies this is where it provides you exciting global career opportunities and we have a developer portal which is like the single point of contact where you can just go to developer.automationanywhere.com and then you can navigate to different portals again whether you want to go to the docs portal or the university portal or even to the a people forum you have all the links uh, which will help you navigate so that's again the url is developer.automationanywhere.com so this is how it looks like the developer portal again the url is all available here there are different uh, trails available in the sense like whether you are an experienced programmer 
or you are just starting with the RPA or you are familiar with uh, any of the other RPA platforms and you want to learn uh, automation anywhere platform this is the place to go there are different tutorials in text format there are video tutorials there are a lot of webinars available so based on your interest and uh, how you would like to consume the content we have uh, different contents for you moving on uh, if you have any questions uh, i'm always reachable at my email arjun.meda at the right automation anywhere.com I'm also pretty active on LinkedIn. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer. So I, I am looking at a couple of questions. If you have uh, more questions, please uh, feel free to type in and uh, I'll take it one by one. Okay, I'm just reading through a couple of questions. Uh, there's one question, what does it mean by sentiment analysis? So sentiment analysis means, say for example, let's take an e-commerce platform like Amazon, in which uh, you have different uh, products listed and you also have the feedback for it. So in this feedback, it might be like positive feedback or it can be a negative feedback but you want to understand what that feedback is so that accordingly you can communicate to the customer so understanding what the customer has written whether it is positive negative or a, a neutral content is what uh, it is meant by sentiment analysis and again it can be used in different cases like uh, say for example if you are looking at twitter and uh, based on a specific hashtag, a lot of people keep tweeting about a different uh, specific event or uh, you for a different product or if even if they have any complaints. So that's where the bots can read uh, these content and then you can respond to them accordingly in the social media platforms. Okay, there's one question. Does the platform work in mobile? You can start or you can stop bots you can monitor your bots from mobile platform and a couple of more questions coming in is this a paid platform or a free platform like uh, if you are just looking to learn for yourself there's a free community edition available for you but if you are an enterprise uh, there's an enterprise plans available for you so that uh, you can get started with the complete support from automation anywhere Okay, there's one question saying like uh, yes this video is uh, getting recorded and it will also be available for you later point of time and uh, can you please elaborate the role of industry or the domain experts in automation a uh, very good question so now if you are already a industry or a domain expert you know how these industries operate and you also understand what are the bottlenecks in that particular industry what are the processes which you think can be automated so this is where you can be a, a role of a domain expert and come up with different use cases which the organization can automate or can even restructure that particular process so that uh, the process can be like as efficient as possible so that's where domain experts are very uh, crucial now that the rpa market has matured a lot there is a great demand for industry experts to pitch in and say that this is the process which has to be automated this is the process which needs a redesign and in such a way that it can be executed by a bot Okay, there's one more question uh, which talks about uh, is automation anywhere accessible through web uh, explorer only or uh, does do you have a desktop application as well? So here the enterprise A2019 is all accessed through a browser whereas our previous version V11 is a desktop version which you can uh, install it in your local system and then execute the bots. Okay, a uh, couple of more questions. Uh, can automation anywhere bots be deployed on embedded devices? Uh, right now, it's not a direct uh, uh, deployment on these embedded devices because the bot runners currently work on Windows platform.
Okay, uh, there's a couple of more questions. Is it mandatory to know computer languages? Uh, Sheikh, a good question. Again, uh, just to reiterate, no, it's not mandatory for you to know any programming language. The main reason being, as I showed you, the platform is, a, is built in such a way that it's all drag and drop components. So you just have to know which uh, action you have to use. That's again in pretty uh, straightforward English language. So say, for example, if you want to uh, launch a browser, you just type browser. You want to work with the Excel, you can type Excel and the package will show you different actions you can perform with the Excel, like opening Excel, reading Excel, closing an Excel. It can do all those kind of steps. So it's pretty much a drag and drop. So you can work uh, with this platform even without knowing the knowledge of uh, the computer languages. So there's a question from Lakshay uh, uh, about accuracy rate of extracting details from scanned PDF. Again, there are a lot of parameters uh, with on which the uh, accuracy rate depends, like how good is the scan and how is the text being presented, the lightness, everything. So there are a lot of parameters, but uh, there are a good number of uh, cases in which the accuracy rate is very high. Okay, there's a question from Srinivas. Uh, how do I learn RPA as a project manager without coding? So yes, good question. So see, just like any other software uh, project, it is not just about having developers to implement something, right? Like you need somebody to govern that overall team of developers, solution architects, business analysts, and even coordinating with like uh, infrastructure teams. So that's where it's very crucial for a program manager uh, to come into this RPA place. And there is a specific course for RPA program managers on Automation Anywhere University. So please do try that out. Okay, I'll take up a couple of more questions depending on the time. Uh, anu, are we uh, uh, doing good on the time? Can we take up a few more questions? Yes, we can. We still have eight more minutes to go. Okay, great. Thank you for the confirmation. So there's uh, another question, how to get started on learning RPA parsing for no coding background? Yeah, as I uh, mentioned, like uh, go to Automation Anywhere University, look at uh, the basic hello, starting with the how to build basic bots. So building your first hello world bot will be the place you have to go to and build your first bot. And then there's a question uh, which talks about how does RPA helps in learning and development of the employees? Yes, good question. The re, uh, see, if you are always busy in doing some manual tasks, that's when you really cannot learn anything. Now that you are able to offload the boring and repetitive tasks to bots, you have a lot of time to invest in better customer centric roles and even which needs critical thinking and with the help of automation anywhere university and the developer portal you can see the how to build a bot you can learn how to build a bot accordingly you can help all your employees to upskill and even ask them to bring about the use cases which can be automated Okay, there's a question from Rajashekaran. How effective is it for a law firm? Can we design our own bot and work out or do we need to engage a software professional to create bots? So it's totally up to you again. So it's definitely useful for uh, law firms uh, whenever you have to do a lot of research about a different uh, reading through different documents coming up with uh, uh, extract relevant data for a particular case. Absolutely, you can design your own bot or there are uh, different companies which also offer services to create bots for you. You can use uh, any of their services too. There's a question from Priya. If Java coding knowledge is needed for RPA development, it's not mandatory. However, if you want to extend the platform capabilities by building your own action packages, that's when you can use Java program to do it. Uh, Mahalakshmi has a question. Any student version is available? Yes, uh, community edition is totally free of cost. So it's meant for individual developers, small companies, as well as students. So it's totally free of cost. Go ahead and use it. 
Okay. Can user build and deploy RPA bots for official purpose? Uh, if yes, uh, any extra charges are uh, apply. So as I mentioned earlier, there is an enterprise edition as well as the community edition. So uh, there are uh, certain rules if you want to use community edition for an organization. So I would advise you to go uh, check out the terms and conditions that will help you clarify if you qualify to use that uh, community edition in your organization or not. There's a question from Kaviraj. Can we embed the automation to handle questions on a communicator tool like Slack to handle the common issues? Uh, yes, uh, there is also a good bot which talks about uh, how you can integrate it with uh, Slack on bot store. So head on to botstore.automationanywhere.com and uh, type Slack. It will show you what are the different use cases which can be automated. So that's a good way to uh, get started about understanding different use cases. Okay, how is the job market? Job market is actually doing great. The reason being, there are a lot of opportunities to automate, to improve efficiency, and also help employees uh, get away with all this uh, monotonous tasks. So that's where there is a huge opportunity across the globe. So it's just not in one country or one different, one specific organization, but it's across uh, different verticals as well. So I'm just looking at a couple of other questions. So there's a question. Sometimes we experience that bots take longer time than humans. And the reason is that bot goes line by line. That's why it takes longer. So is there a overcome this issue? Yes, uh, it all depends on how you design the bot. How do you read the data? So uh, say, for example, uh, you want to deal with an Excel and which has like uh, a thousand rows. You don't want to go to Excel to read each record. Instead, you can read the entire data from the Excel at one go. You store it in the internal memory as a data table, and then you can iterate through different rows so that uh, it's like much faster to execute the your transactions. So uh, there's one question around do you deliver team trainings on RPA? So head on to Automation Anywhere University. So there uh, there are both uh, instructor led trainings as well as online trainings which you can uh, take up. Any more questions you would want to take Arjun? Uh, I'm just looking at a uh, couple of ones are repeated. I'll probably just uh, Yes, I'll take up one more question how automation anywheres assures data security So uh, for this we have built the industry's first bot security framework So it has four levels the first one like say for example Any bot if the developer wants to upload it to bot store when the developer uploads it to the bot store we first do a malware scan that's a basic uh, level of check we do for every bot which gets published onto the bot store the second level is all about self attestation so we have a uh, automation anywhere trail called secure bot developer which helps you understand how to build secure bots and uh, level three and level four is when you work with the pa security partner and then get your bot certified for threat modeling as well as the penetration testing. So yes, uh, please do check out our bot security framework. That will give you a good understanding of uh, how you can secure your bots. So uh, I'll take the last question. Uh, is there a good market for uh, freshers? Yes, definitely. There are. Uh, diff you can also see the number of universities who are tied up with us because uh, NASCOM has identified RPA as one of the core technologies, uh, core among the eight technologies. So that's where there is a lot of uh, demand for freshers in the RPA field.
Okay, I think uh, in the interest of time, uh, Anu, uh, do you have any next steps to showcase from your end before we can uh, sign off? Not really. I would just like to thank you, Arjun, for an amazing and an insightful session. And for more information about courses on RP or any other emerging technology, please visit fslearning.nascom.in. The link for the same has been shared in the chat box. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Thanks a lot, everyone, for your time. I hope uh, the session was useful for you. Please uh, do check out different resources available for you to get started uh, to build your first bot on the Automation Anywhere platform. Thanks a lot and have a good rest of your day and go be great. And thank you, NASCOM, for uh, providing this opportunity to share uh, my knowledge on RPA with everybody. Most welcome, Arjun. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Take care. Bye. I'm going to show you what I'm going to get back.